Hey everyone, welcome to the WordStream YouTube channel. This time, we're diving into one of the most alarming PPC issues you could run into. Your ads aren't showing on Google. There are a few reasons this could be happening, so it's important not to panic. With this video, we should be able to get to the root of the issue and fix whatever problems exist within your account to get your ads showing on the search engine results page or SERP again. So let's get started. Basically, there are two broad categories of issues that could be coming into place when your ads aren't showing on Google. The first are not performance related. These don't reflect the quality of your account. They're actual issues that could be present within your account. And the second, you guessed it, are performance-based. This means they're directly related to not quite hitting Google's outline standards for PPC best practices. Luckily, all of these issues can be fixed so that your ads can make their way back to the limelight or the SERP and bring in the leads your business needs. So the first category, non-performance-based issues. The first and maybe the most obvious issue is that your payment didn't go through. If, like a lot of advertisers, you're paying for your Google Ads account via an automatic payment, Google will charge you when you either reach a preset payment threshold or when you reach the end of your current billing period. It depends on whichever is gonna happen first. For these transactions to go smoothly, the payment information linked to your account needs to be valid and up to date. Basically, if Google can't charge you, they won't serve your ads. The second issue, your bids aren't right. As you may know, you have to set a daily budget for each of your Google Ads campaigns. If the maximum cost per click, or CPC, uh, bid you set for a particular keyword exceeds the budget of its campaign, your ads won't show up for queries that match that keyword. Make sure your account is free of these conflicts between campaign budgets and keyword bids. On the other hand, your Google Ads may not be showing because your bids are too low. Your ad rank for a given auction depends on your quality score for the keyword you're bidding on, as well as the bid itself. If you navigate to the keyword section of your Google Ads account, you can use bid simulators to estimate the impact of increasing your bids by different amounts. Another reason your ads aren't showing is because your keyword search volume is too low. Google has an eligibility standard for keyword volumes. So they'll notice if you're targeting an extremely low volume keyword and it'll temporarily make those ads inactive. If search volume picks up to a reasonable level, Google will automatically reactivate the keyword. But honestly, we don't recommend just waiting for volume to increase on a keyword you're targeting. You use Google Ads to advertise, so you wanna be showing ads to prospects. Using Google's Keyword Planner, which is free within your Google Ads account, or the WordStream free keyword tool, you should try your best to find a similar keyword with substantial volume. We'll link the free keyword tool below. Reason number four, your ads have been paused, removed, or disapproved. Now this is a three-parter, so we'll walk through each one of these issues separately. It's possible that your Google Ads aren't showing simply because they've been paused, or because the ad groups or campaigns that house them have been paused. If that's the case, all you need to do is switch them from paused to enabled. Your ads could also not be showing because they, or their corresponding ad groups or campaigns, have been removed from your account for one reason or another. Unfortunately, then you'd have to start from scratch. To see if you accidentally paused or removed anything within your account, go to your change history. Here, you can see the changes that have been made to your account and then filter by statuses. If you've made sure nothing's been paused or removed and you're still not seeing your Google Ads show up in the search results, it's possible that they've been disapproved. Obviously, any ad that's been disapproved is ineligible to show to users. To learn how you can fix your disapproved ads and get them back on the SERPs, we'll link Google Ads policies below. Next, it's possible there's a scheduling or targeting mistake. Just as you set a budget for each of your Google Ads campaigns, you'll also set an advertising schedule for each campaign, thus allowing you to tell Google which days of the week and which hours of the day you'd like your ads to show. To check on this, navigate to the Ad Schedule tab of the campaign you're concerned about and make sure your ads aren't scheduled too narrowly. Okay, another possible keyword issue is that your negative keywords are negating your active keywords, meaning they're being canceled out. As an example, let's say you're bidding on the phrase match keyword CRM free trial, and you've set free CRM as a campaign level broad match negative. In this case, the negative keyword would override the active keyword. To fix this, you'd simply need to switch from the broad match negative free CRM to the exact match negative free CRM. Doing so would allow you to advertise to users looking for a free trial of a CRM while simultaneously withholding your ads from users looking for a CRM that doesn't cost anything. The final non-performance-based issue is that your negative bid adjustments you've set are so large that they're tanking your ad rank. 
Negative bid adjustments, which allow you to automatically decrease your bids within a particular campaign under specific circumstances, can be set on a number of different parameters, device type, time of day, location, and so on. As effective as this capability can be, if the negative bid adjustments you're setting are too extreme, it's entirely possible that you're knocking yourself out of the ad competition. All right, so those are all of the reasons your ads could be not showing on Google based on issues that don't have anything to do with the actual performance of your ads. Next, we'll move on to what could be happening from the performance standpoint. So let's talk about optimization. First, your ad group could be unfocused. Each of the ad groups living within your Google Ads account consists of two components, keywords and ads. There's a reason Google houses them under the same roof. The keywords and ads living within the same ad group are tied together. When one of your keywords is triggered by a user's search query and you've entered those into the ad auction, Google knows to select one of the ads that you've tied to that keyword. Your performance in the ad auction depends on how relevant your ad is to a user's query. The more relevant your ad, the higher your rank in the paid search results. This brings me to the key question. How do you make sure your ad is relevant to the query? The short answer is by building ad groups that are comprised of closely related keywords. If the keywords within your ad group are closely related to one another, it's practically guaranteed that your ad will be relevant to the user's query no matter which keyword is triggered, no matter which ad Google selects. The fact that your Google ads aren't showing may be due to the structure of your ad groups. If you find that you've built your ad groups within the keywords that aren't closely related to one another, that's likely the reason you're not performing as well as you'd like to in the ad auction. Next, your copy could not be optimized. This one is a little bit more straightforward. Basically, you need to make sure you incorporate your target keywords into your ad copy to make sure your ad will rank high in the search results. It's all about relevance. Another issue on the theme of relevance is that your landing page could not be relevant to your ad. Essentially, if your landing page fails to help users do what they need to do, as signified by the intent behind their search queries, you'll do poorly in the ad auction. Here's what that means for you. You need to look closely at each of the keywords you're targeting within your Google Ads. Think about the users whose queries are triggering these keywords. What are they struggling with? What are they trying to accomplish? What can you do to help them out? Your answers to these questions should inform the content you're putting on your landing pages. Hint, use the keywords you're targeting in your ads on your landing page too. And finally, the last reason your ads could not be showing, you have a low click-through rate, or CTR. This essentially measures the appeal of your offer to your prospects. Having a low click-through rate could mean that you're not meeting the unique needs of your prospects according to their position along their customer journey. The advice here, basically just take a closer look at your ad copy and judge whether you're doing a good enough job mapping keywords to the customer journey and then addressing the user's needs. And that's it. Those are the main reasons your ads could not be showing up on the SERP. We hope you were able to learn something today and troubleshoot some issues that could be preventing your prospects from seeing your ads. And don't forget to check out the description box to find links to the free keyword tool, the Google Ads policies, as well as some other free tools and resources that will help you in the world of online advertising. Until next time, have a good one.